Hey guys, what's up? How you living? Hope you're doing well today, wherever you are, whatever you're up to. So today, Charlene and I are on a short little mission with you guys. We're gonna run up about 45 minutes north of where we live, just outside of Campbell River on Vancouver Island, to a place called Elk Falls Provincial Park. Now, it's near where I was a couple of years ago and followed a black bear by the salmon hatchery for most of the day. I don't know if you've ever seen that video, but I'll, I'll link up top. Uh, Whichever corner it is here, I'll link up top to it. And you can go watch that when this video is done. That was an amazing day. Uh, but we hear some great things about this provincial park, so we've got to go check it out. So welcome to Elk Falls Provincial Park. I gotta tell you, Charlene and I, as I mentioned, had heard great things. And as we've entered onto the property here, first impressions, they're pretty good. The parking lot area, the picnic area, interpretive center right at the start of the paths, all are just 10 out of 10. Really, really inviting, really great first impressions. Uh, now as we head down the paths towards the suspension bridge, towards the waterfall, we'll see whether they can uh, keep that consistent 10 out of 10 kind of vibe going. One of the things that Charlene and I are always looking for at these natural destinations like Elk Falls here is whether the experience we'll have today matches up to what the marketing says it's going to be. Uh, in this case is the waterfall and the suspension bridge as spectacular as the web says it is or is it just kind of uh, what I call a puff piece. You pull up to the parking lot, you walk maybe a hundred meters or so, you see the site and that's it. You turn around, you go back to your car, and you, you leave. Or is it a destination? Is Elk Falls a place where I can come and look at the waterfall from a few different angles? Is it a place that I can come and do extra hikes? Can I have a picnic here? Is this a day trip destination? Or is it just a drive by, stop, see, and continue? We'll find out as we go along. But so far, yeah, we're, we're doing okay. Depending how you count, this is either the fourth or the fifth of the lookouts here and from it you can see the falls and the river leading into the falls and then the, uh, the water that's just passed from all sorts of different angles. So it really gives you a kind of a 360 degree view of the spectacular spot. There's a few geocaches here as well for those of you who are interested in that. Coming up to another one of the, uh, whoa, steps. Okay, we're approaching the last of the lookouts that we're gonna hit today. This one is the oldest of them. It was built in 1936. It lets you see kind of an unhindered view of the falls, pretty close up, closer than the suspension bridge does, and without all the up and down bouncing that is uh, goes along with the suspension bridge. Check out this view. Great 
spot. This is even a better view, I think, than over at the suspension bridge. Well, you don't like bouncy bridges for sure. Yeah, the other one is bounce, 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 but this one seems closer. It is closer, and it's just, uh, just a better view. So thank you for putting in, this is the original. This yeah. is the original one. So thank you to those who put the original one in. In this case, the original is the best. So good. Uh, taking a little break here for a second as we continue on our way. There are some very cool things going on in my life right now that I can't wait to share with you. I said at the beginning of this year, if you watch the very first episode or even the Rewind 2018 episode, that's kind of the default video on this channel right now when you, when you go to Hey Dan King on YouTube, I talk about it being a hinge year, a year where a lot of things have been kind of percolating and some of that stuff would execute, would occur this year. So I thought it would kind of be a hinge year from what was to what is, from the old to the new. That's been happening. And if you're not a subscriber, hit subscribe to the notifications bell because I'm not telling you in this video what it is. Probably the next two or three videos, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna spill the beans, I'm gonna let you in on some big, big happening. So I'm, I'm really stoked about that. In the meantime, Elk Falls has been everything today that we hoped it would be. It was more than just a little puff piece where we stop, see something, hop back in the car and continue on. Uh, we spent a good chunk of our day here because we could. It really is a day trip um, destination. We got out, we saw the falls, we went for hikes, we saw two other waterfalls. Uh, it was a beautiful place just to hang out. Uh, there are picnic tables here that we could sit and have a meal if we wanted to. Uh, this has been a good experience and thank you to BC Parks for letting us right down to the river, right down to the waterfront there, right beside the water because it's beautiful there. It is worth your time and I'm sure wherever you are in the world you've got parks locally uh, that you could go to and find some epic adventures at as well. So uh, thanks for hanging out with us today. It's your turn now. As always, get off the couch, get outside, quit living vicariously through my videos, and enjoy creation where you live. Uh, we'll talk to you next time. Super stoked for what's to come. Peace.